Hey guys, what's up? So, I wasn't gonna film it, and I thought, oh, well, you know, I'll, I'll show you guys what's up, because I got an idea, but we'll see how it all pans out. Anyway, uh, welcome back. Hey, the, we're, we're at my house. Goats are wondering what's going on. Well, I've got a situation here. There is a skunk living under here. So, I can't be having that. I've got one week left of season, so I went ahead and did what everyone would do. I set some traps. There's another one right there. Anyway, I thought I'd just fill you guys in that I set a couple traps. I'm trying to catch a skunk. If it goes the way that I want it to, we will be doing a skunk catch clean cook. So uh, let's hope we catch one because I've been meaning to do this one and I messed up on the last one. I shot him wrong and he sprayed all over the place. And I don't know if you guys enjoy skunk as much as I do, but uh, it's pretty strong that close. Really strong. So yeah, I wasn't gonna eat that. Hopefully this round will go better. I really hope so, because it's literally like in my backyard, like within 70 feet of the house. My wife would not be happy if I messed that up. So yeah, let's hope we catch a skunk and that he doesn't spray. So anyway, let's go do something else. Hey guys, uh, it's the next day. And, uh, does it look any different out here? Yeah, welcome to Kansas. It can be 60 degrees, and then the next day it just snows. And they're forecasting it to get down to like 19, so, yeah, why not? It's just gonna be cold and wet and nasty. So, uh, hooray me. Anyway, uh, so, I didn't bring out the camera with me first thing this morning, but I got something to show you now. Obviously I walked over here and yeah, I can smell him from here already. He's, he's not super thrilled. What's up? Yeah. All right, so today's challenge is to dispatch a skunk where the meat is still good and he doesn't spray. That's the challenge. How will it go? No idea. All right, why does it, yeah. Okay, so the main reason I don't want to spray is obvious, it stinks. My house is right there. My shop is right there. The skunk is right there. Uh, my wife will be very disgruntled if, uh, if the whole place smells like skunk for the next couple weeks. So wish me luck because this is going to hopefully go really, really well. It, this is gonna go really well. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna do it yet, but I will get the deed done and then we're gonna take a look at him. So I'll be right back. So, um, you know when the plan just comes together perfectly and actually everything goes better than you expected to and you know, you just couldn't, have, you wouldn't have done anything different and everything just, everything's just perfect. Uh, yeah, this is not one of those times. My wife is going to kill me. It smells so bad, like right now, I can feel my hoodie and this awesome ducks hoodie here just absorbing all of the skunk essence in the air. Uh, so um, I've been told if you shoot a skunk through the lungs from a distance with a, with a subsonic or a low powder 22, he won't spray by 80% of the time. Uh, he definitely did. It, woo, I am so dead, but I'm gonna brave it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open them up best I can, get some of the meat out. We are gonna do a catch clean cook and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it does not get into, you know, the food part. So, uh, yeah, let me, let me, let me show you this mess real quick. All right, see that discoloration there? Pure evil has been spewing out of him. It, it really smells so bad. Like I'm, it's overpowering right now, but I'm kind of immune to it right now because I'm just so close to it and been around it for a minute. But yeah, there he is. Let's, uh, <clears throat> let's get this next part done. Let's get this next part done quickly because I'm not looking forward to it. Got a pair of gloves, I'm gonna get a knife, and I'm gonna go save at least a little bit of meat so we can do this catch clean cook. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll come get you in a minute. Whew. This better be worth it, guys. Please help me out. Make make me feel better about myself and hit the thumbs up button. Um, Cause I stink bad. Like, 
I can barely smell it anymore, and I can still like, I can almost feel it in my eyes. It, it's a bad deal. Be glad you guys aren't here. But anyway, excuse where I made a mess here. By the way, there's not much meat on a skunk. Uh, I took a couple little pieces of back straps over the hind leg. I tried to stay away from the 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 whoo. You know what I'm saying here. Try to stay away from the stinky end of it. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, I did the best I could. I'm gonna get this stuff. I'm gonna soak it for a few days, I think. Put in some salt water, see, just, you know, get it good and soaked. Uh, then, uh, yeah, then we'll get to the cook part of it. So, anyway, stick around. We're gonna do some stuff, I'm sure, in the next day or two, but in between the cook thing. But uh, we're gonna do this catch queen cook, and we're gonna do it. And I'm still trying to talk myself into it, but we're gonna do it. All right, anyway, see you guys in a bit. You guys are greedy, and you're a bully. Yeah, you know I'm talking about you. Hey guys, uh, before we get into the cook portion of the video, I have bad news. In the last video, I showed you guys my frillback nest that had a nice little grizzled frillback, and the Modinas that also had a baby, which was a black feathered one. As you can tell by the snow and all that stuff, it got really cold here. Shh, I'm filming. Quiet. So it got down, the, the actual feel of outside was like negative 19 one day. That was with the wind chill and all that stuff. So I'm guessing in here in the barn, it had to be dang near zero. Uh, I know it was at least negative 15 one, or not negative 15. I know it was at least 15 degrees one day. Um, it was cold and the best that I can figure out what happened was is the baby pigeons were big enough that the parents aren't sitting with them at night and they didn't have really any feathers. I mean, they had the start of feathers, but there's a lot of exposed, there's not much insulation and they just flat out froze. So uh, yeah, both, both nests are wiped out completely. I'm hoping that they start over and try again here. I'm pretty bummed about it to be honest, but uh, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it, so here we go. I haven't checked the feral loft yet. I'm planning on doing that here in a little bit and see if any, if there's any casualties there. Hopefully not. That's not good. So there's an owl who thinks that he can compete with Bob. Bob's trying to tell uh, Midge there that, you know, we need to start over and do this all again. Which I agree with him. He he really has, he's got a good point. They really should start over and try again. But hopefully the owl doesn't convince uh, Midge that uh, you know there's sharper tools in the shed. Uh, so let's go check out the Modinas really quick. If you guys weren't sitting in the window, I could see you guys. There you go. The Swiss are doing pretty good, so that's good. Hopefully they start a nest soon. That'd be awesome. Hopefully the Modinas do their thing. Carl and Mary, you know, they ought to get down and, you know, start another nest. What, fourth time's a charm, fifth time's a charm? Red's trying to cut in there. Oh well. Anyway, uh, there's gonna be a little bit after this of me at the shop, kind of a random bit I wanna throw in there, and then we're gonna get on to the cook part. So let's do this thing. Hey, uh, so I'm here at the shop, getting ready to leave, but I wanted to show you guys something before I do. Guys, remember all of these things? Well, I need to send these off to get tanned. So, I've got my box here. Here is my black possum. Put him in there. My white possum with the tail on it. Not sure what that's all about. All right. We got our friendly little skunk. I like this. Wish I would've got one with a little bit wider stripes, but you know, he'll do. Um. Stick him in there. There we go. One small, actually it's a medium raccoon, a little guy. I think though, what I'll do with this guy is maybe later here in the year, I'll probably give him away. So if you haven't subscribed, you know, you might subscribe and see what uh, what day I give away this raccoon here. It'll take a while before I actually get the hides back, so. And big boy. Big, big boy. We're gonna have to, have to fold him in like three or four pieces.
there we go. And I get my packing list, stick that in there, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys, shipping this stuff off, and then probably, I don't know, it takes a few months for you to get your stuff back. So here after, it'll probably be close to the beginning of next season, I'll probably be doing a giveaway. So uh, stay tuned, That that that's gonna happen at some point here. Hey guys, uh, so I have literally been thinking for three days, trying to figure out what I'm going to make with skunk. Now, I don't have a lot. I mean, it's what? three, four ounces maybe, it's four ounces. Uh, and at first I was like, I'm gonna make fried rice. Well, I decided not to. What I decided then is I'm gonna make nachos. Now, hear me out, there's a couple of reasons I decided to make nachos. I thought about doing like spaghetti or something like that, but the thing is that you can hide a lot in those things. Kind of like wrapping it in bacon, sticking it on a jalapeno. I mean, you can hide a lot. You can make about anything good that way. Uh, but I'm really actually curious how skunk tastes. I'm also a little bit worried because uh, when I put it in this bag to bring it home, I give it a good old sniff. You know, you gotta, you gotta do that. And it's a little skunkier than what I was really hoping for. So you guys know from earlier that the skunk sprayed. So what I did is I opened it up from the back, like literally on its back, not, not from where the spray glands are, but I opened it up there. That way I could avoid getting in contact with it. But if you guys know what skunks are, which obviously you do, the, the spray is really, 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 really potent. Like, I knew it was, but holy cats, it's bad. And so I'm afraid what happened was, is there was enough in the air that I actually got onto the meat, and so I'm afraid, I mean, the way it smells, it can't taste good. So this may be a little bit unfair to what skunk actually tastes like, so anyway, we're doing nachos. That way I can get an actual taste for the skunk. Hopefully it's not gonna be horrible, but I gotta find out. So, we're making nachos. I decided to make myself some stuffed mushrooms at the same time. Oh, I should probably start this. Uh, confect bag, yep, yeah, 350, why not? Bill, while my pan's getting hot, I gotta tell you guys, thanks so much. Earlier today, I hit, thanks to you guys, 15,000 subscribers. That's a pretty big deal to me because uh, honestly, I never thought it would happen. It, plain and simple. And the amount of support you guys have given me is absolutely amazing. And I appreciate it so much, especially all you guys who are out there. You guys are commenting every video. Like there's a bunch of names that I recognize over and over again. Speaking of comments, I really do try and respond to all of them. Um, but recently you guys have been leaving so many that it literally takes me about an hour to go through all of them. If you have a comment and I missed it, I'm sorry, I will try and get to it eventually. But I really do appreciate you guys leaving comments. It actually, believe it or not, you guys dropping a comment actually helps the video. It shows an interaction and then it gets recommended more and it helps, it helps me grow. It really, really does. And so I really appreciate you guys doing that. Um, but yeah, and then there's a few of you guys you international subscribers. I've seen Romania, I've seen Australia, I've seen Brazil, I've seen, and I'm kind of embarrassed because I can't remember all of them. There, there's a bunch of different countries. I went and looked actually on my analytics and there's like over 50 different countries. Um, so if you guys are from a country other than the US, if you want to drop me a comment and tell me where you guys are from, I really find it interesting. Like it, it really kind of blows my mind. Greece, I remember Greece. I've seen Greece a couple times. Leave me a comment. If you guys are from the States, drop a comment what state you guys are from. If you guys are from a outside of the US country, drop me a country because I really find it interesting. So if you guys would do that, that would be awesome because I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna try and respond to them all. I got a feeling that there's gonna be a ton of you guys, but I am looking forward to it. So uh, anyway, I need to get on to cooking this skunk because I think my oil's hot now. I spent the last little bit dicing it up, getting rid of all the fat. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, if season wasn't almost over, I'd be chucking this in the trash and just scrapping this whole video and being like, nope, we're gonna do another one because it smells like skunk. And I don't know if that's normal or not, so I'm going on with it. I am really, really unexcited about this whole thing here. So, uh, here we go. All right, let's let's dump this nice lean lean scrumptious meat. Okay, that that there's a solid protein, right? It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Yeah. 
All right, we're gonna season it with uh, garlic salt. Mm, that. We'll set that there. Uh, yeah, seasoned salt and black pepper. Believe it or not, it doesn't actually smell too bad now. Okay, well, while the meat's finishing up, I really like the hint of lime chips. Hold on, there, there we go. Hint of lime. I really like these. So we're gonna put ourselves a nice little bed of chips here. We're gonna spread some cheese on it. And we're gonna stick this in the microwave. We, got, we gotta melt the cheese. I'd say they're fully cooked. Set that there. Gotta wait for our cheese to melt. We're gonna dress this stuff up and then we're going to taste this stuff. I'm still psyching myself up a little bit. So uh, yeah, let's do this. All right, we're gonna add some sour cream. Add some homemade salsa. Thanks, hon, appreciate it. And last but not least, our protein of choice, the skunk. All right, I'm gonna let this cool for a little bit because it's still pretty hot. Even though burning my taste buds off might be the logical choice, I'm gonna do this fair. So we're gonna wait for it to cool down just for a second. Oh yeah, they're ready. Ooh, that's warm. All right, here we go. When added plenty of protein to it, I got a chip, a little bit of salsa and sour cream. Ah, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Wow, um, I didn't hate that. Like I literally already had a bucket ready. Um, well, by bucket, I mean, I had the trash can lit off, ready, ready just in case, I need to be prepared. And uh, I don't hate that. Um, who knew? It, it wasn't terrible. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm gonna eat all of it, but I'm not gonna throw it all away, so. Yeah, what do you know? It really, I mean, it's not like the greatest things in sliced bread by any means, but it it's enough that, I mean, I'll eat more. That That's cool. I really am surprised because uh, I honestly thought I might hurl on this one. I got pretty strong stomach, but I was I was legitimately concerned about this one. So, so anyway, if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one.